to my channel. So today's look has been inspired by The Lion King. I'm going to be recreating the Scar Lion makeup look. I am obsessed with this look. I feel like it's super fun, super cool. My sister really wanted me to go for like a villain, scary type of character for my next look. But I just thought I had to go for this one because I feel like it's a villain but it's also colourful, it's also different and it's also kind of like something I've not really done before on my channel. So I really hope you guys do enjoy watching this video and feel really inspired for Halloween this year because it is going to be a little bit of a bummer year. We can't really go out and celebrate Halloween as we usually would. So I'm hoping that this kind of content is really bringing you into some kind of Halloween spirit and makes you feel kind of inspired in some way. So if you're interested in seeing how I create this scar face makeup look then keep on watching. For my inspiration today I'm taking this photograph which I found on Google. Moving on to my first steps, I'm taking the Snazaru orange face paint, dunking it in some water and blending it all over my face using a beauty blender. Don't worry about the edges or the bottom of our mouth area as we're going to be going over that with a black colour anyway. Next we're going to be taking this eye pencil here and just outlining the area um, to create like a fur type of effect around our face. So basically you just want to follow the rough guide um, and then we're going to be going over that with the black afterwards. Using some black face paint, I'm going to be filling in those lines to create the fur effect around our face. Take your time with this and don't forget to use like a smaller brush because it just helps get into those little corners um, and helps create a really nice sharp edge on those fur lines. Following this, we're going to be using the black face paint to create our new nose. So it's now time for the eyeshadow, so I'm taking a selection of brushes and this Style London eyeshadow palette using this little red colour here and placing that on the centre of our lids and just smoking it out towards, well, just to cover the eyelid basically. I'm now taking this brown shade in the corner there just to add a little bit more depth around the eyes and to really build in that eye socket area, make it look a little bit more fearsome. I'm now taking a smaller brush just to kind of really sharpen up those edges of the eye and just make it look a little bit more bold. Using some more face paint, we're now going to make a move on our eyebrows. So the main step here is to fill them in as you would with your own natural brows because we want to make them look really fluffy, really kind of like fur-like um, and don't forget to leave a space as well for the scar. We don't want to fill that in, we just kind of want to leave it blank, um, ready to put the scar detailing on a little bit later. So it's now time to add some scar to the scar makeup look. So I'm taking this white shade from the Roxaurus Colorburst palette and I'm just creating like a triangular shaped scar on my eyebrow. And then we're gonna take this underneath the eye as well to create like a claw effect. Um, and we're just gonna leave this white because obviously it's an old scar so we don't wanna add any blood or anything to it because I feel like it's just not really necessary for this look. So for my lips, I'm using the same black face paint and I'm just applying this on the top lip and kind of dragging the face paint out towards the corner of my lips just to kind of make them look wider. So my next step is a little bit backwards but I'm now taking the white face paint and applying this around my mouth area just to brighten it up and make it stand out a little bit more. And I'm also creating a better shape around this mouth area because I wasn't happy with it the way it was before. Using the same eyeshadow palette as I used on my eyes, I'm just taking this yellow orange kind of shade and just applying this around the mouth area just to make it blend in nicely with the orange around my face. So it's now time to give this cat some whiskers, so I'm using the same black face paint. As you can see, I did go a little bit heavy on the lines. So what I would recommend is using like a eyeliner brush, they're quite small and dainty so I feel like that would get the better effect on this look. For that cat eye effect, I'm taking the black face paint and applying this on my top lash line and as you can see I'm really going in on those inner corners of my eyes just to really lengthen the eye shape area and make it more cat-like. Moving on to mascara, I'm taking the Lash Domination Mascara by Bare Minerals and applying this on the top lash line just to really bring out that eye shape and make it look more bold. As you can see, I'm wearing a black turtleneck jumper. This just makes it easier to blend the face paint into your outfit. And as for the hair, you can put a black spray, hairspray over it just to create a better effect. But obviously, I'm not going to do this because I actually filmed this at 11 o'clock at night. So I did not feel like washing my hair at this time of night. So that's the reason why I didn't go up into my hairline. 
So that is it. We have now reached the end of this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I am very, very impressed with the overall look. I've never done like a cartoon character like that before. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching me recreate this scar inspired makeup look. If you're a fan of Lion King and you enjoyed watching me put this look together, then don't forget to smash this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.